what's up out there in YouTube land? It's me, your boy, 87 showing up, and I am sitting right in front of Jonathan Fields. Oh my God, I am so proud of you, my son. You have brought home the deck to the promised land. We are at the Kansas City Regional 2016, and I'm gonna just go ahead and let him tell you what he did today that was so special. Go ahead. Uh, I top 32 at Yang Zings. I would have top aided, but I had to play Miramont's the last round. Uh, deck, prof deck profile of his coming on the way. Yeah, so uh, let's see here. I have three Chi Win. Let's go ahead and get to these bars. Some people play two. Uh, I like three because uh, it actually comes up, and I just like having an extra tuner when I need to search something. Uh, I play the one Pulao uh, just because spells are kind of relevant now, and I don't want to be like Regeki or something and not have anything. So it, it, it just comes in handy. And it's just another Yangzing name for the combo. And then I play three Jiao Tu. Uh, if you don't play three Jiao Tu, you're doing something wrong. Uh, it's the heart and soul of the deck. It's what gets you to everything. You need it to usually win a lot of games against everything that's meta. I play two Bixie. Uh, Bixie isn't as needed in this format. Uh, the format isn't as trap heavy. And if it is, your monsters usually get striked for warning when you get summoned anyway, so that doesn't matter. So Big C2 is just another name, and it's just a good, it's just another monster to summon. I have a three BN. Uh, it's one protection your monster about battle, and it's, it's just really good. And it's it's a monster to just beat over stuff, and it's just another name as well. And three Swanee, Swanee's so good. I won so many games because I boosted something up. Uh, I don't think it's a Raid Raptor player today, and I won because I boosted. Oh my god! I, I was boosted, there. I boosted my feels up. Uh, by 500 to uh, crash into his towers, my monster lived and his died, and that's how I got the game. Uh, I played the one Tyrone. Uh, a lot of people don't play this card. I like it because it actually came up where I needed something Yangzing card to beat over something. And uh, it won me a couple games because I could just beat over something. Or this, being a level 5, I could summon it with Jiao and just make a Yazi real quick to get rid of stuff. And of course, I played three of the uh, Secret. Zephyr, uh, Secret because I just needed a three now because of the deck, because what the, what the combo does, you need three. In case you draw one, you can still have two in deck. Uh, that's the Yangzing cards. Monsters. Let's get to these ratios. Uh, everyone plays different ratio. Uh, I personally like three stealing and three silver. Mm, where you get those numbers from, though? Uh, I'm, my man here convinced me to play painful decision last night. But uh, I, I like stealing and uh, uh, silver best because uh, they interact best with synchro summons. Because you one this one makes makes the herald play with the chiwin engrave when you open the combo. And uh, they interact better because they're level two and three to make a make a secret summon, and not have to like work harder to put the right monsters on board. But why specifically only six metal foes? Because like cards. you would open hands where like you'd break because you'd open too many metal foes, and if you're playing painful decision, it's as if you're playing another metal foe monster. So mm. that doesn't. Uh, Do you hear that? Do you hear that over there in the path of the Yang Zing group? This is how you should do it. Well, unless you play more, wherever that guy is, <gasps> then in which case he's right. Here we are. <laughs> uh, I play two Yang Zing Path. Uh, you don't need to play three uh, right now. It's not needed. You just need to search it once. If you resolve it once, you usually don't need to resolve it again. If you resolve it once, you should win. If you resolve two, you're, you're super one. Yeah. I bet you made a decision. Um, I thought I was playing three last night, but for me, two is just the right number. I saw it today. I saw it every time I needed it. I never bricked because I, I played two of this. And it was just our Metal Fuzz monster, but it was better because I got to choose which scale I wanted to get. But you can play three. Yes. Now, time for the one ofs. Uh, I play Soul Charge, and if you don't play Soul Charge, this deck, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, Soul Charge is okay. broken. <gasps> uh, I play Raigeki. I need a 40th card, and this just solves so many problems. Uh, actually, today, I, I uh, this one this card won't make game in time because. Um, <laughs> this Go guy, ahead, I remember the story. This guy activated Vanity's Emptiness against me. Main and phase I had one. Nothing, I had nothing to get over it. I was going to lose that match. Uh, but. Uh, he dwelled in the turn before, and I still had a fusion engrave. I shuffle my fusion back, and I do Raigeki, so Raigeki is field and game him. Mm. It, it was really spicy. He was so mad. Uh, then I play Swords Against Human Light. This card's really good right now, because people will establish boards, but if you're not playing like a mirror match, or like a pinch and neck play, like just blue eyes or something, uh, this, this just handles their field so where you can build up your... Awesome head judgment. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> to where, to where you, you can build up your uh, your resources and go off on them. Also, uh, against Blue Spear Dragon, this forces them to tag out. And uh, honestly, Spear Dragon is our only enemy, so we get rid of him, we're the master race. Well, enough said. 
Book of Moon, uh, when Blue Eyes tries to make a Spirit Dragon and you went first, you set this, and when they go to the tuner, you're like, get out of your tuner. You're not making a Spirit Dragon on me today. And it's really good to make the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon tag out as well. Uh, now it's time for the weird thing that I played. The, I don't see anyone else playing it. Uh, Reasoning. It is spicy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this card's really good. 90% uh, uh, of the time, they're not gonna call the level right because all your monsters are different levels in the deck. He was very smart. And uh, if you activate this for the first time, first card in the match, they usually call like some absurd numbers. They think you're playing something weird. It's good enough. Uh, so it's really good. Also, uh, a lot of times today I mill fusion off of it, and then I get to draw another card, and it was a plus one just because I milled a fusion, then got a Yangzin card. So that that was really good. And then of course I, I play the one fusion. Uh, you have to play this card. It's just amazing. Uh, time for the trap cards. Uh, I played two combination. Uh, I thought this was the right number because I played one counter. Uh, some people are playing three combinations instead of counter, but. This, this helps me get some time, get there sometimes because I can summon a, a metal foes and go into like uh, an Angus or Beals or something, and it helps me just push for game. Uh, I play Creation uh, because a lot of people don't like it because you can't because the restriction it has, but and it's a trap card. But it helps you interact in your opponent's turn more and hurt them. And if they don't know anything about the deck, this card's gonna kill them. Because if you have like a Chimney Grave and a Gangsing Yard, this is automatic backseat with three materials or three monsters on it, and they're gonna lose. Or Chowfing. Or Chowfing, yeah. Chowfing kills Blue Eyes. Uh, and this just. This is too good not to play one of. And then, of course, the Counter Trap. Uh, until we get the, the Counter Trap in November, uh, this is the best one to play. Uh, it, it, it just negates anything, and uh, honestly, if you can make a better negate board, why not? Uh, the deck is 40 cards. And then I guess we'll do the extra. Uh, of course, we have three Baxia. Uh, three Baxia, perfect number. This is the MVP card of the day. If I don't have this card, I'm going to lose every game. Uh, I, I, I can't put this card up enough. It's too good. Then I have one Yazi. Uh, this didn't come up in my earlier matches, but towards the end of the night, this came up a lot more. I'm playing against a lot of demise decks, and so like this allowed me to just get over like losing turns and stuff. Or actually, uh, it just that extra thing to synchro song to go for game four when I can't make a backseat because I only have two spaces on board and I don't have another level six in deck. Then I also have the one of Chaofeng. Uh, this, car, uh, this card is so good against blue eyes. And it's good against everything else. So you can just shut him down. Like a BA player I played today. Uh, I synchro summoned it with I sold charge before and I synchro summoned it with a water and dark. So you couldn't nightmare shark and bar bar me. Because uh, I wanted to make sure I could win the game even though I couldn't attack for game that turn. And next turn is back to win, I killed him. And then uh, I played Harold for the combo. And just Harold's just generically good because it's really good against BA and it's it, it, it's an automatic game. Why would you not play that? Then I played Void Ogre for the combo. Uh, this card's broken. It's just sometimes it's kind of annoying that you have to have zero cards in hand, but a lot of times you're in the combo, of course you have zero cards, so it just works. And then I played Beals. Uh, this card's so good against decks that you can't get over problems. Especially Blue Eyes, like you're attacking their Blue Eyes monster and then they can't kill this. So it just sits there and you just win. Uh, then I played Armades. Uh, a lot of people aren't playing level 5 synchros in this deck. I played one. I was playing Sam Samsara because of what I did, but this card won me a game of the Yangzing mirror match tonight because I was able to beat into his Yangzing monster just couldn't activate the effects. So that was really good in the mirror match. And it was also really good against Demise decks. And Burning Abyss. Oh, yeah. Hell of Burning Abyss. And I played the one Trish. Uh, Trishy people, enough said. I mean, it wins games. It won me so many games today. Then I played the one Nirvana High Paladin. Uh, this card, I only played it once today when I played it. It was broken that I got to cut my opponent's life once in half, and they just lost because of that. And it was in time, too, so it was really good. And then I played Nister. Uh, I didn't really think about this until while well, the tournament. I can't really make this very well now because I don't play a full flame. So I probably take this out for something else. But Ignis is really broken. And yeah. And so I, 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 I don't know if I'll cut it around. Uh, Harbinger, because combo, negate spells, enough said. Uh, and my two Metal Flows monsters in the fusion, one Adamant and one Orichalc. Uh To me, you gotta play both, they're really broken. 
And then for the side deck, uh, I played two Maxi in the side deck. Uh, these are probably going to go to the main after today. Uh, everything's about to summons right now, so this card's broken. Uh, You're welcome! <laughs> then, uh, two effect failure. Uh, this card's really good. You should not just not play this card. This effect failure is effect failure. Uh, two gout, Cosmic Cyclone, because of Cosmo. I actually played Cosmo today, and this one McGee's because I just, like, Cosmic Cyclone, the, uh, Cosmo Town. Two Gamma Seals, because screw Spirit Dragon. Uh, let's see here. One Dark Hole, because just extra hate, and Dark Hole doesn't hurt my deck. Hurts everyone else though. And then my spice, Dinko Seka. <laughs> this card's too good. You, you make the combo, and if you open Dinko in the other in the, in the other four cards you for the combo, next turn you just Dinko them, and it, it's definitely over. They're not winning ever. I don't care what they say. <laughs> and then I played Ghost Reavers. Uh, <laughs> This is it's such a good card, and the two cards I put along with the Ghost Reaper were Spear Dragon and Dante. Uh, this because our deck hates this card, so we need, we need to read this real quick. And Dante just because, screw Dante. <laughs> and it's really good in the mirror match, you Reaper the, the backseat and it's over. Quit telling people that! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well guys, that's it for us. We gotta get out of here. Rate, comment, subscribe. We Thanks out. for watching.